Hello, everybody. My name is Vanessa. If you don't know who I am, my chance call for those that struggle. So I just wanted to jump on here and just read scripture this morning. Um, the title of this is going to be, We Know God Hears Us. Okay. We know God hears us. So I'm going to be in 1 John chapter 5, verse 10. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave his Son. And this is the record, that God hath given us eternal life, and this life is, his, is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things that have I written unto you, that I believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we knoweth that he heareth us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desired of him. Verse 16. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that, that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is a, a sin not unto death. We know that whatsoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself. And the wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God. And the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God is come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And that we are in him that is true. Even in his Son Jesus Christ that is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. So now I want to go to um, Second John. The elder unto the lady, elect lady, and her children whom I love in the truth, and not only, but also all they that have known the truth for the truth's sake, which dwelleth in us and what and shall be with us forever. Grace be with you. Mercy and peace from God, the father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the son of the father in truth and love. I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth as we have received a commandment from the father. And now I beseech thee lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this love that we walk after his commandment, this is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not the not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, that is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgress and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in doctrine of Christ, he that both the Father, he that, yeah, he that both the Father and the Son, if there come any unto you and bring not the doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Having many things to write unto you, I would not write with paper and ink, but I trust to come unto you and speak face to face that your joy may be full. The children of thy elect sister greet thee. Amen. So I want to say that you know, I come to you and I say, you know, seek God with all your heart. Ask him to reveal to you what he wants to speak to you. Let him minister to you and have your own relationship with Christ. So don't go looking to others for your answers. Don't be looking to the media, to the news. 
um, for your answers on what you're supposed to be doing, when you're supposed to be doing it, but you're supposed to seek God with all things, okay? With all that you do, you're supposed to seek him. And Christ's word says that there's going to be battles and wars all around us, but that we will not be touched, okay? He's going to exalt his people. He is exalting his people. And just because things are not working out in the world for those that are in evil, for those that are not in Christ, um, just because the interest rates are up, just because doesn't mean, doesn't mean that God's will isn't for you to um, buy a house or get your business started or just whatever it is that he's telling you to do. It doesn't mean that that is going to affect you because it's in whatever God's will is for you. Don't let other people stop you from moving forward in Christ and moving forward in, in what he has for you. Don't be looking back at your past failures and wondering if you're going to make it or if you're not going to make it because we know God's going to make all things good for those that follow after him and for his purpose. Okay. We do not seek from other people, but we seek Christ. And so this is just what I wanted to share with you this morning. I pray this is a blessing for you. We know God hears us. If God is in us and his word is in us, then we know that he hears us. And if we ask anything in his will, then we know that we will receive the petitions of the petitions that we desire. Okay. I love you all. God bless you. And I'll talk to you later.